The recalls of CCC Citizens Coalition for Change legislators have severely weakened Emerson Umningabwa's political clout, the leader of the ZANU-PF party, and the presumed president of Zimbabwe. His authority has practically started to be taken away by these recalls, raising doubts about his legitimacy. The recall of CCC legislators has proven harmful to Mingadwa's hold on power because parliament is the center of any government's public esteem and authority. His reign was clouded by the contentious 2023 elections, which were marked by claims of fraud. The subsequent recalls of CCC lawmakers from parliament highlight the precariousness of his position even further. There is considerable doubt regarding the motivations behind these acts, notwithstanding comments made by Umingabwa's media praising his leadership and announcing by-election dates. These declarations have been justified by Mr. George Karamba, Deputy Chief Secretary to the President and Cabinet, as being required by the Constitution rather than being made for political reasons. The government's motives, however, have been questioned because the opposition claims that the government was behind the recalls. According to Karamba, the Speaker of Parliament orders the recalls after the legislators had been expelled by their respective parties. The President must announce by elections within a certain time frame after this procedure is started because he is required to do so by both the Constitution and the laws of the nation. According to Karamba, there is no room for political bias in this procedure. Furthermore, Karamba underlines that the attendance of opposition legislators is not mandated by Zimbabwean law as a matter of constitutionality. Opposition members choose to be absent, and if this behavior persists, the standing rules and regulations of parliament may judge a lawmaker to be no longer in office. The fact that everyone can choose whether to engage in the political process in Zimbabwe, whether as a voter or a candidate, is the key to the issue. Asserting that the laws of the nation are unconcerned with such decisions, Karamba rejects the notion that CCC's refusal to participate will lead to a constitutional crisis. According to Karamba, if the CCC decides to boycott the December by-elections, willing political parties would still take part and the results will be announced. While Omningadwa's supporters claim that these measures are necessary to uphold the constitution, Detractors see the recalls as a calculated effort to weaken the opposition and further the president's hold on power. While the recalls proceed, Zimbabwe's political climate remains volatile, and the country is still concerned about the decline of governmental legitimacy.